subscribe to youtube.com slash JIL Worldwide and be updated with the latest teachings and other church happenings. Click the subscribe button now. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Sino pong handa na magpuri sa Panginoon sa umaga na ito? Sino po ang nagagalak na muling magpapakilala ang Panginoon sa ating buhay sa mas malalim na kaparaanan? At sino po ang may nais na makaranas ng magaganda at kamanghamang hanghimala sa umaga na ito? Tayo pong lahat ay sasamba sa Kanya sa oras na ito, palakpakan po natin ang ating Panginoon. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Lord Jesus, in our lives. And we honor of who you are. Let us clap our hands. Let us worship and praise the name of the Lord. Let us say, You are holy. Yes, you are mighty. You are mighty. We declare, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy. And worthy of praise. Worthy of praise. I will follow. I will follow. And I will listen. I will for who listen. you are. And I will love you. Will for love what you've done.
amidst our problems let us say I'll just see you for you are holy mighty faithful in your promise Lord I'll just in you with all my heart for the very last time I'll just in you trust the Lord we will never be put to shame for God said in John 16 verse 33 in this world you will experience tribulation but I tell you this so that you will have peace for I overcame the world for God overcame the world Church, the devil is doing his job greatly, according to John 10.10. 10. But we as the warrior of Christ is told in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 to 5, that our weapons are not made on earth, but from God, that we can capture our thoughts and minds to obey, G to obey in Jesus Christ. And we invite you, church, let us rise up as the warrior of Christ amidst this pandemic. And let us fight and resist the devil in his works. For God vested his power in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Of your greatness, as a mention of your greatness in your name. 
is holy. It's mighty, awesome, wonderful, omniscient, all powerful, glorious, wonderful, magnificent. Worship the Lord. Do not stop praising the Lord. The Holy Spirit is not yet done in your lives. Continue to praise His name. Saying you are holy. Worthy is the Lamb. Yes, Lord. You are holy. of your great love we are not consumed for your compassions never fail great is your faithfulness great is your love great is your mercy great is your grace for rich and every one of us Panginoon maraming salamat sa umagang ito nararamdaman po namin ang inyong pagmamahal nasaan man po kaming lugar ngayon Salamat, inaabot po kami, niyayakap po kami ng inyong kapangyarihan. Maraming marami pong salamat, aming dakila at matapat na Diyos. At tunay ngang kayo po ay mapagtagumpay at sa umagang ito, Panginoon. Patuloy po kaming nagpapalinis, nagpapasuri ng aming mga puso. And it's only by the blood of Jesus that we can be sanctified. 
that we can be redeemed. And we claim your word in 1 John 1, 9, that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Lord, ano man pong kasalanan ay inyo pong nililinis ngayong umaga as we continue to confess all our shortcomings. And Lord, thank you for the most precious blood of Jesus. We are now redeemed. We are now sanctified and we can come boldly to your throne of grace. Kami po ay nagmamangha at patuloy na naghihintay Panginoon sa inyo pong pakikipisan sa amin. Nasaan man pong lugar ang inyong mga anak, wherever we are gathered today, precious Holy Spirit, we invite your special visitation upon our homes, upon this place. Panginoon, continue to anoint the servant that you will use today. May you anoint him with the anointing power of the Holy Spirit and that he will speak your word with boldness, with confidence, with signs, wonders, and miracles. Panginoon, patuloy pong ang mga puso namin as our hands are lifted up. Pwede ba ngayong umaga, abutin natin ang trono ng Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng paghahandog ng ating pinakamainam na papuri pinakamainam na pasasalamat, pinakamainam na paghahandog ng ating mga buhay. Hallelujah! Holy Spirit, visit us this morning, Father God. Visit us. You are most welcome. Let's invite the presence of the Holy Spirit wherever we are. The presence that sets the captives free. The presence that removes all fears, that removes all anxieties. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Panginoon, maraming Salamat sa inyo pong pagtalaw. Holy Spirit, precious Holy Spirit, move freely, move mightily, and we give you the freedom to do whatever you want to do, Panginoon. Maraming maraming pong salamat. We claim the victory of the entirety of this program as we bring back to you the highest glory, highest praises, highest honor in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Isa pong malakas na balakpak para sa ating Panginoon. Hallelujah! Tayo po ay maari ng maka- makaupo kung tayo man po ay nasa comfort of our home or kung nasaan man po tayong lugar that we are gathered together. A blessed morning po to all our viewers. If you are watching this program the first time, we would like to welcome you to the family of God. This is the live worship and healing service happening here at JIL Prayer Garden, Bunlo, Bokawe, Bulacan, Philippines. It is just one of the many services happening not just in the Philippines but in different parts of the world. At tunay nga po, tayo po ay pinagpala ngayong umaga dahil po ang salita ng Panginoon, ang mensahe ng Panginoon, ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon ay hindi po mahahadlangan ng anuman pong sitwasyon na meron po tayo. At tunay nga po na kung ang Panginoong Jesus ang ating pundasyon at sandigan, tayo po ay hindi mapapatumba ng anuman pong ating pinagdaraanan. Pwede po bang pumalakpak ang bawat isa na naniniwala na may gagawing kamanghamanghang bagay ang ating Panginoon sa umagang ito, ha? Hallelujah! And today po, we are especially blessed because we will hear a very relevant and no-nonsense message of the Lord in this precarious season to be delivered by our spiritual director, the founder, and the president of the Jesus is Lord Church worldwide and the deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, Bishop Brother Eddie Villanueva. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Palapakan natin ang Diyos. Minsan pa. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, uh, Sister Cosena, the chairman ng KK Bilito sa Bulacan sa uh, uh, anointed prayer. Praise God. Praise God. At puri ng Panginoon sa ating mga worshipers na rito, <clears throat> mga members ng jail worship team. Of course, uh, management ng uh, ating JIL Prayer Garden Church. 
sa pangwana ni Pastor Jojo de los Reyes at sa lahat ng mga narito, purihin ng Panginoon. At uh, isang mapagpala po at uh, I would say uh, makasaysayang araw, purihin ng Panginoon. Bago po tayo dumako sa isang mensahe, isang teaching message ng Panginoon na nilagay sa akin puso, ay nais ko lang pong uh, patuloy na uh, mamanhik sa lahat ng mga anak ng Diyos. <clears throat> Kahit hindi pa anak ng Diyos, pero naniniwala sa Diyos. Lahat po tayo patuloy na lumapit sa Panginoon. Patuloy nating i-apply ang 2 Chronicles 7.14 sapagkat uh, sa rumaragasang na COVID-19 pandemic nagkaroon pa ng Delta uh, variant at iba pa para mga variants pa darating at nagsasabi pa ang ilang mga economic finance analysts sa buong mundo na itong pandemic na ito maaaring uh, umabot pa hanggang 2004-2005 Bago magkaroon ng tinatawag na stability, ang new normal, tayo pong mga nakakilala sa Diyos, tayo nakakilala sa Diyos na may gawa ng langit at lupa, na nagsabing, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? Jeremiah 32 verse 18. Yung nagsabi doon sa Isaiah chapter 66 verse 1, This earth is just my footstool and... Uh, Yes, this earth is just my footstool, ang sabi ng Diyos. Isaiah 66 verse 1. Again, He hung it, the earth upon nothing. Job 26 verse 7. Yung sina- ang Diyos na nagsabi sa Luke 18, 27, Those things which are impossible with men are all possible with God. And nothing is impossible to those who believe. Mark 9, 23. Tayo pong mga nakakilala sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Patuloy nating uh, uh, irali ang sang bayanan, ang sang katauhan na patuloy na lumapit sa Diyos, patuloy na magtika, magsisi sa mga kasalanan sa pagkitulong dahilan kung bakit hindi maranasan ang malawakang worldwide divine protection ng Panginoon sa katakot-takot na sumpa na dumarating ngayon sa, sa, sa buong mundo. All because of worldwide wickedness, worldwide moral and spiritual bankruptcy, corruption, injustices, miseries, greed for money, greed for power. Dahil dito ay uh, laganap ang kasamaan sa balat ng lupa. At napakarami mga tao ng mga inosente na dadamay sa katakot-takot na sumpa na ito. Isa lang ho ang number one nating huwag kakalimutan. Laging may pag-asa because the God who created the heavens and the earth is the God of mercy, the God of love. Although He is the God of wrath, although He is the God of justice, pero meron siyang sinabi sa 2 Chronicles 7.14, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Ito ang pangako ng Panginoon. Kung ang bayan o mga taong tinawag sa kanyang pangalan ay magpapakumbaba. Mananalangin. Hahanapin ang kanyang muka at tatalikod sa kanilang mga kasalanan. Ako na Diyos mula sa Langit, pakinggan, pakinggan ko inyong mga daing ang inyong mga pananalangin para praising. Pagagaling, patatawarin ko inyong mga kasalanan. Pagagalingin ko ang inyong bayan. Panginoong Diyos, amang suma sa langit, patawarin mo po ang buong sangkatauhan. Patawarin mo ang aming bayan. Patawarin mo ang bawat sa amin sa katigasan ng puso sa kayabangan, kapalaluan, patawarin mo po ang buong sangkatauhan sa worldwide wickedness, worldwide sinfulness, worldwide moral and spiritual corruption, 
Worldwide greed for money, greed for power. Patawarin mo, Panginoon. Tulungan mong malinis kami at mahugasan ng banal, makapangyarihang dugo ng Panginoong Yesus na dumaloy sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Adalangin ko, Panginoon, Ura barasi ka dalam ang kandara barasi alalam mahay. Hallelujah. Patigilin mo na po, Panginoon, ang pandemic na ito. Ibalik mo ang kalayaan ng iyong mga anak na sambahin ka sa espiritu at katotohanan, lalo na kung araw ng linggo, mabuksan ang mga Christian churches all over the Philippines and all over the world. Sinabi mo sa Hebrews 10 verse 25, Do not forsake the assembly or the fellowship of God's people. The devil wants to stop the assembly, the fellowship of God's people. Pinalalala pa niya ang mga pandemics, ang pandemics na ito, Panginoon. Of course, You are greater than He who is in the world. So, balit kung minsan, you are withholding the divine protection for your people because of the worldwide spread of wickedness, sinfulness. Lord, sabatayin mo na po ang kasamaan ng tao sa balat ng lupa. Tapusin mo na po ang worldwide COVID-19 pandemic na ito. Bigyan mo ng isang pagkakataong pa ang isang katauhang makarinig ng gospel of love and salvation ni Jesus, makapanumbalik sa iyo, Panginoon. At bago dumating ang iyong pangalawang pagbabalik, preceded by the rapture of the church, marami ang makipag-break kay Satan, marami ang maligtas, marami ang maisama mo sa iyong kaharian, makawala sa tanikala ng jablo at hindi na magdusa sa kamay ni Antikristo sa pitong taong dakilang kapigatihan. Salamat po, Panginoon. We praise you, Lord. Basbasan at pagpalain mo ang lahat ang sumusubaybay sa programang ito sa Jesus is Lord Worship Healing Service dito sa Prayer Garden sa 101 Bulabukay, Bulacan, Philippines. Basbasan mo ang mga sumusubaybay sa A to Z, Channel 11, maging sa Signal Channel 20, maging sa Light TV, God's Channel of Blessings, maging sa Facebook, sa YouTube, at sa iba pa pang mga platforms, Lord, na inaabot ng programa mo. You are not limited by distance, space, and even time. Buksan mong bintana ng kalangitan, O Diyos. Yunat mong mahaba mong kamay, mapagpala, mapaghimalang kamay. Abutin mo ang lahat ng tao, Panginoon. Enlighten them all. Convict them strongly and don't give them peace until they repent of their sins. And let them desire their deliverance in the name of Jesus. Lord, special prayer ang hiniling ko po sa iyo. Abutin mo ang mga lalaki at babae, bata matanda, naging biktima ng COVID-19 pandemic. Nasaan man sila, sa loob ng hospital, sa loob ng kanilang mga tahanan, nasaan man sila, Panginoon. Abutin mo po, Diyos, at minsan pa ipatunayan mo, ikaw ang tunay na Jehovah Rapa. You're the great physician. You're the healer of your people. You change not, Malachi 3.6. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 8. Lord Jesus, you said in Matthew 28, verse 18, and I quote you, All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Uncalled. Lord, walang imposible sa iyo by the power of your Holy Spirit. Lay your hands upon all the victims of COVID-19 pandemic. Even the so-called Delta variant or any kinds of variant of COVID. Lay your hands upon all the people 
Release, Lord, the surging resurrection power of Jesus. Release unto them. Touch their bodies. Touch their lungs. Touch all parts of their bodies, Lord. Take away, take away, take away all the viruses in their bodies. Take away all sicknesses and diseases, Lord. Release unto them. Hallelujah. Release unto them your divine healings, your miracle healings, Lord. For Jesus Christ was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. He bore our sorrows, the chastisement of our peace was laid upon Him. And by His stripes, we are healed. By the wounds of Jesus suffered on the cross of Calvary, your people were healed. We are healed. Oh, by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. Welcome the healing power of Jesus. Receive the miracle healing power of Jesus flowing into your bodies from the top of your head up to the soles of your feet. Receive, receive, receive in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are healing your people. Mag-inhale. Mag-exhale po tayo. Kayo mga nahihirapang huminga. Inhale, exhale. In the name of Jesus. In the redeeming name of Jesus. In the wonderful and marvelous name of Jesus. I rebuke all the works of the devil. I rebuke this COVID-19 pandemic and all its viruses. I rebuke them in your bodies. I cancel them by the holy, holy blood of the Lord Jesus Christ shed in Calvary. And in the mighty redeeming name of Jesus, I am releasing unto your bodies, beloved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing of healings. The anointing of healings receive. The anointing that destroys the yoke of the devil. Isaiah 10, 27. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are truly the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. In the, in the midst of this worldwide crisis, Lord, ibuos mo rin sa mga tunay mong anak ang tagumpay. Ibuos mo ang kapayapaan. Ibuos mo ang victorious living sa kanila. Katulad ng pangako mo sa Psalm 37 verse 19. And I quote your word, O God, in times of disasters, in times of disasters, your people, your own people will not wither in the days of famine. Your own people will enjoy plenty or abundance and gold. Salamat, Panginoon. Salamat. Ipinamamalas mo na sa iyong mga anak ngayon ang pinamalas mo nung panahon ni Joseph sa Old Testament sa gitna ng worldwide drought and famine ang mga tunay mong anak ay nakaranas pa ng prosperity and abundance because their God is alive. Their God is the living God who created the heavens and the earth. Salamat, Panginoon. Salamat. We thank you, Lord. Thanks be to God who gives us victory in Christ Jesus. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57. Thank you, Lord, for giving your people victory in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody say, thank you, Lord. I am victorious. I receive my miracles. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm victorious. I'm a child of the living God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Everybody agree and say, Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Palapangan natin ng Panginoon. Sa munang uh, special song, ang worship team, please. Let us all declare, victory, victory is mine. Let us all receive the healing from God. Hallelujah. Let us clap our hands and let us all sing. Victory, victory is mine. Yes, victory, victory is mine. Oh yes, I know. Lord, I have already won a battle. Victory, victory is mine. Healing is mine. Healing, healing is mine. Amen. Healing, healing is mine. Oh yes, I know. Lord, I have already won yes, a battle. Healing, healing is prosperity mine. Is mine. Prosperity, prosperity. Prosperity, prosperity is mine. Oh yes, I know. 
praise the Lord. Sa inyo po mga sumusubaybay sa programang ito, matapos tayong manalangin. Naalala ko ang sabi ni Lord Jesus sa Mark 11:24, Whatsoever you desire, when you pray, when you pray, believe that you receive. Believe that you receive and you will have them. Hallelujah. So everybody say, who participated in that united prayers, everybody say, thank you, Lord, I believe I receive. Thank you, Lord, I believe I receive my healings. Thank you, Lord, I believe I receive my divine healings. Thank you, Lord, I believe I receive my miracle healing. Yes, you were healed by the stripes of Jesus. You were redeemed by the holy blood of Jesus shed on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah! Praise God! Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Praise the Lord. Last Sunday po, ang ating katuroan ay pinamagatang kong why Jesus Christ is the only Savior of humanity. Napatunayan po natin sa mga salita ng Diyos na Jesus Christ is the only name given under heaven that man can be saved. Sabi ng ni St. Peter, inspired, anointed by the Holy Spirit, sa Acts chapter 4, verse 12, based sa verse 10 na pangalan ni Jesus. Sa 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5, si Apostol Pablo naman ang nag-confirm. There is only one God. And there is only one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, yung Diyos anak na nagkatawang tao. Kailangan siya magkatawang tao sapagat ang tao ang ililigtas ng Diyos at ang Diyos ay Espiritu, hindi siya pwedeng mamatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Pero ang bugtong niyang anak, the God incarnate, ang nagbayad ng kasalanan ng tao at siya lang ang qualified the mediator between God and man. Sino may sabi nito? Ang Holy Spirit instrumenting Saint Paul or Apostle Paul. Mismong si John the Baptist. Si John the Baptist sa John chapter 1 verse 29 nang makita niya si Jesus, He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And of course, the number one witness is Jesus Christ Himself, who said in John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. Ako lamang ang daan, ang katotohanan, at ang buhay. Walang makaparoon sa Ama kung hindi sa magitan niya. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Ngayon, mga kapatid, hallelujah. Yes, palapakan ng sandali ang Panginoon. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Matapos nating malaman na ang ating Panginoon sa Kristo ang tanging tagapagligtas ng tao, what must we do to experience His promised victorious living in this troubled world? What must we do? Aside doon sa sinabi sa 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, Whosoever is born of God or born again overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Aside from that revelation, gusto kong bigyan diin sa inyo yung napakahalagang sangkap sa buhay ng tunay ng mga Kristiyano, yung mga tunay na believers ni Jesus Christ, yung mga tunay na anak ng Diyos, Bakit ko ko binibigyan din yung tunay na believers ay anak ng Diyos? Hindi lahat ng tao ay anak ng Diyos. Lahat ng tao ay nilalang ng Diyos. Pero hindi lahat ay anak niya. Ilan po ang anak ng Diyos? Pakinggan natin ang John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only one and only Son, the begotten Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have ever eternal life or everlasting life. Kaya isa lang po ang anak ng Diyos. Pero, paano tayo maging anak ng Diyos? 
John chapter 1 verse 12. But as many as received him, oh, yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Right to become children of God. Karapatang maging anak ng Diyos, tinatanggap ng isang tao kapag tinanggap niya si Jesus. So anak tayo ng Diyos, natanggapin natin si Lord. Hinugasan tayo ng banan na dugo ng Panginoong Jesus, the only blood in heaven and earth that has the power to wash away the sins of the world because that blood of Jesus shed on the cross is exempted from original sin through and due to His virgin birth. Nahugasan tayo sa lahat ng kasalanang minana kay Adan, kay Evan, minana sa ating mga ninuno at magulang. Kasama na ang lahat ng nagawa nating kasalanan, committed sins. In thoughts, in words, in deeds, mula sa pagkabata hanggang kasalukuyan, they were washed away by the holy blood of Jesus. Ang blood ni Jesus ay merong everlasting power. Nag-ooperate ito kapag tinanggap natin, nirelease natin ang ating faith kay Jesus sa kanyang ginawa sa cross of Calvary. At mag-ooperate simultaneously ang Holy Spirit entering our human spirit which is or was dead because of original sin. And our human spirit was being regenerated, regenerated, made alive or born of God, born again. Ni sinasabi ni Jesus in John 3.3, unless a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Pero pinakamahalaga ho para maranasan natin ang victorious living. Yung sinasabi ni Lord Jesus, abundant life. Sa John chapter 10, verse 10, hindi ba? Nasabi ni Lord, the thief referring to Satan cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I came to give life and have it more abundantly or have it to the full in other translation. Panat maranasan ng abundant life. Victorious life. Number one ho, na gusto kong iwanan sa inyo sa araw na ito. Yung James chapter 1 verse 22. James chapter 1 verse 22. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Ito po ang susi. Be doers of God's word. Be doers of God's word. Hindi ho automatic na magiging matagumpay ang buhay natin kapag tayo naging naborn again, naging tunay na mga anak ng Diyos, tumanggap tayo ng immigration paper or citizenship in heaven. Hindi ho automatic na tayo victorious. Hindi automatic na ang ating katawan ay maging malusog. Hindi automatic na ating kabuhayan ay maging abundant. Hindi automatic ang victorious living. Kailangan i-develop natin ang ating faith life. And remember, it is impossible to please God without faith. Hebrews 11.6 And what is faith? Faith is the substance of things of poor or evidence of things that sin. In the practical sense, faith is simply acting on God's Word. Doing God's Word. Kaya be doers of God's Word. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Ibuhok na question ng Word of God. Ang Bible. Kaya ako minsan, sinasalansang maraming pamahalaan sa balat ng lupa, ang God's Word. Sinabi ng Diyos sa Malakay chapter 2, verse 16, I hate divorce. I hate divorce, sabi ng Diyos. Pero alam niyo ba, nirailroad na naman yung divorce bill sa lower house sa House of Representatives ng Congress. Yung inaprubahan ng 17th Congress, kineri over ni Railroad sa 18th Congress. Ewan ko kung papasa yun sa Senado. Ewan ko yun kung pipirmahan ng Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Sipin nyo, sa gitna ng pandemic, sa gitna ng kalunos-lunos ng mga krisis, sumpa, disasters, calamities, magpapasa ang Kongreso ng Pilipinas ng divorce bill. Divorce law? Pagagalitin pa ang Diyos. <laughs> Baligtad ito. And lately, ang ating Pangulo, binigyan ng go-signal ang mga kasino sa mga resorts, sa pangunan ng Buracay. 
Dahil kailangan daw ang pera. Natatawa si Satanas. Natutuwa si Satanas. Bakit? The more na paghirapin niya ang tao, ang mga leaders ay pupunta sa kanya para kailangan natin ng pera kahit sa gambling. Itong kahalagahan kapag ang mga bansa, ang mga namumunay may takot sa Diyos. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. In the absence of the fear of God, there is no wisdom. That's why every government whose leadership does not believe in God or does not have fear of God is a bankrupt government. Kaya dapat tayong mga mamamayan. We are the sovereign people. Sumulat tayo sa ating Pangulo. Sumulat tayo sa Senate President. Sumulat tayo sa Speaker of the House. Sumulat tayo sa ating mga lawmakers, mga congressmen, congresswomen. Hey! Kinakatawan niyo kami. Ang kapanganan ng sambayanan nang dapat mauna, hindi ang sarili. Alam niyo, I don't want to apologize. I cannot help but feel the holy anger of God. Sa gitna ng pandemic ng COVID-19, ang dami-dami na mamatay sa parking lot. Hindi mapasok sa hospital. Magpapasa tayo ng batas ng divorce law na sabi ni, ng Diyos sa Malachi 2 verse 16, I hate divorce. I hate divorce. Meron namang, meron namang, meron namang uh, tinatawag na annulment of marriage. Meron namang declaration of nullity of marriage. Improve yun. Make it proper. Pero never, never satisfy the will of the devil. The devil wants divorce. God hates divorce. Sino ang kakampiyan natin? Ang Diyos o si Satanas? I'm very sorry. With due respect to any leadership, to anyone in this country. Nakakaawa na po ang taong bayan. Nadadamay ang mga inusenteng milyong-milyong tao sa pagdurusa at paghihirap dahil sa mga sumpa. Yun ang aming, sabi ng iba, ang corruption, napakahirap eh. Kaya naghihirap ang bayan. Kaya papasukin na natin ang mga gambling players ng China, etc., etc. Diyos ko naman. To me, that is a tacit admission of failure to manage the affairs of the nation. Sa mga parliamentary system of government, that is already, already enough for the resignation of the leadership in the government. Alam natin yung mga nag-aaral. Sa parliamentary system, when there is lack of confidence, the existing government is being terminated, resigning, and the parallel government is taking over. Kaya napakahalaga ang confidence. Ang confidence sa mga namumuno ay hindi mangyayari kung walang fear of God. Why? Proverbs 9.10, fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Praise the Lord. Doers of God. Doers of God's Word. Kaya mahalaga po ang uh, unang-una, well, nilid po ako ng Panginoon na gisingin ang sambay ng Pilipino. Let's pray, Lord, wake up. Our people, wake up. Let the nation open their eyes to the realities going on. There is an ongoing piercing battle between right and wrong, good and evil, light and darkness. There has been an ongoing First battle between God and Satan. Whom shall we pay for? Whom shall we side? Kaya napakaliwanag po bilang, bilang mga tunay na Kristiyano. Huwag tayong maging duwag na tanggapin ang lahat ng gawa ng jablo sa ating bansa. Kapag ang pamahalan ay tama ang polisiya, ang programa, suportahan natin. Pero pag mali na ang ginagawa, hindi natin dapat suportahan. Sabi ng Diyos, we would rather obey God rather than men. Acts chapter 5 verse 27. Acts chapter 5 verse 29, I'm sorry. We would rather obey God rather than men. 
What is the use na mabuhay tayo sa mundo kung hindi natin magawa ang gusto ng Panginoon sa ating buhay? Our, lo our loyalty to anyone must end when our loyalty to our God begins. As long as the government is doing right, we have to support the government. But when the government is doing what the devil wants and against the perfect will of God, the people will suffer. And we should therefore obey God rather than man. Sino may sabi nito? Holy Spirit. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Praise God. Be doers of God's word. Alam naman natin ang sabi ng Biblia. Remove wickedness in the government by removing wicked people so that the government will be based on righteousness. Paraphrase, Proverbs 25, verse 5. Remove the wicked. Ang sabi po roon. Remove wicked officials from the king's presence and his throne will be established through righteousness. Why righteousness? Proverbs 14.34 Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach or a disgrace to any people. Kaya napakahalaga po ang righteousness. Kung gusto natin ang Pilipinas ay makaranas ng tunay na kapayapaan, tunay na kaunlaran, at tunay na kasaganaan, prosperity of the people. Ipaglaban natin ang kahalagahan ng righteousness in governance. Ako ho ay naging deputy speaker of the house on, more, on good governance and moral uprightness. Tungkulin ko po na labanan ng all forms of unrighteousness and wickedness in this country. Or else, I will be a traitor to God. And I will be a traitor to the Filipino people because all authority and power in the government emanates from the people themselves. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Ngayon tungkol ho sa, uh, sa matagumpay na buhay, number one, siyempre, salvation. Alam naman natin ang sabi sa Romans chapter 10, verse 9, verse 10. Ano po ang sabi roon? Be doers of God's word. Eh. Tingnan po ninyo. If you declare with your mouth or confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. You will be, you will be saved. When you declare or confess with your word that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. And believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. The cross is empty. The tomb of Jesus is empty. Because he rose up from the dead. If you believe that, you will be saved. So confession of your faith is part of doing God's word. So Romans 10, 13, Whosoever shall call unto the name of the Lord shall be saved. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Okay, be, doer of, be doers of God's, be doer of God's word. By con uh, word for salvation, confess it, believe it, hallelujah, and confess it. Praise be the name of the Lord. At alam po natin, uh, ang sabi, maniwala tayo sa Luke, Luke chapter 10 verse 19. The, man of, the, the son of man, Luke chapter uh, 10 verse 19. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpion, the power of the ano. Luke 10. Luke 10. I'm sorry, Luke 19, verse 10. Luke 19, verse 10. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. To seek and to save the lost. Kaya si Jesus ho. Ang kanyang mission is to seek the lost and save the lost. Kaya sa sabi sa verse 13 ng Romans, uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 13, anong sabi? 
Whosoever, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So, be doers of God's word as far as salvation is concerned. Pag tinanggap natin, He is the only way, the truth, and the life, and no one can come to the Father except through Him. We believe that. We act on it. Hallelujah. We'll be saved. Anong consequence ng salvation? 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 up to verse 13. Before we leave the area of salvation, praise God, praise God. For everyone, nawala. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11, 13, please. Ano ang sabi ron? And this is the testimony. God has given us eternal life. And this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son, referring to Jesus, of course, whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. Hindi waliwanag po, self-explanatory. Ang buhay na walang hanggan ay makakamit lamang sa anak ng Diyos. Bugtong na anak ng Diyos na si Jesus. Ang kinararona ng anak ng Diyos, hindi ng reliyon, hindi ng anumang uri ng sekta. Ang sinumang kinararona ng anak ng Diyos ay kinararona ng buhay. Ang hindi kinaroonan ng anak ng Diyos ay hindi kinaroonan ng buhay. Sinusulat ka mga bagay na ito upang manampalataya kayo sa pangalan ng anak ng Diyos na malaman ninyo na meron kayong buhay na walang hanggan sa Kanya. Kung may mapupunta pa sa impyerno, hindi ho pwedeng sisihin ng Diyos. Pinangangaral 24 hours a day sa radio, sa television, sa Facebook, sa YouTube, all over the world, Jesus Christ is the only Savior of humanity. Siya lang ang namatay para tubusin ang kasalanan ng lahi ng tao sa magitan ng kanyang dugo na walang original sin by virtue of His virgin birth. Hallelujah. Punta naman tayo sa healings. Again, be doers of God's Word. Alam natin ang mga Word of God tungkol sa healings. Number one, sinabi sa Exodus 15.26, Everybody read Exodus 15, 26. Anong sabi raon? He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands and keep all the His decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. I am the Lord who heals you. So original King James, I am the God that healed thee. I am the God that healed thee. I am the God that healed thee. I am the Lord that healed thee. God established Himself as the great physician of His people. So Exodus 23 verse 25. Anong sabi sa Exodus 23 verse 25? Anong sabi ron? And you shall serve the Lord your God. Sa ibang translation, you shall worship me or your God. And He shall bless thy bread and thy water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Alisin kong sakit karamdaman sa inyong katawan. Hallelujah. Napakaliwanag na ang Diyos ay hindi lang Savior kundi Healer. Healer of His people. Kailangan lang nakalagay dun sa Psalm 103. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 3. Napakagandang mga revelation to. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not, forget not all His benefits. He, He, who, who, who forgives, who forgives all our iniquities, all our sins, who heals all our diseases, your diseases, my diseases, all. Praise God, praise God. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Kaya sabi ng Psalm 107 verse 20, God sent His Word and healed them and saved them from their destruction. God sent His Word and healed them and delivered them or saved them from their destructions. Pinadala ng Diyos ang kanyang salita. Matapos padala ang kanyang salita, pinagaling ang mga may sakit. Iniligtas sa anumang dus at hirap 
ang mga tao. Sa ang salita ho ay carrier ng miracle. The word of God is a spirit. It is light. John 6.63, Jesus said, The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are light. Kaya kapag na, mapasok sa atin ang salita ng Diyos, tinatanggap natin ang spirit and light. If the word of God is revealing the gift of salvation, nagkakaroon tayo ng faith for salvation. Gifts of healings, nagkakaroon tayo ng healings. Deliverance. Kaya mahalaga po na ang mga word of, word of God ay nasa puso natin. Doon no, sa Isaiah 53 verse 5. Isaiah 53 verse 5, Matthew chapter 8 verse 17, 2 Peter 2.24. Ano po ang sabi ron? He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon Him. And by His stripes, you and I are healed. Sa Tagalog, siya'y nasugatan dahil sa ating mga kasalanan. Siya'y nabugbog dahil sa ating mga kalikuan. Binayaran niya ang ating kapayapaan sa kanya mga dus at hira. By His stripes, sa kanya mga latay, kayo at ako ay tumanggap ng kagalingan. Wow. Doon sa cross of Calvary, nag-provide si Jesus ng atonement for salvation for sin. Atonement for healing of our diseases. Kailangan alam po natin yun at manampalataya po tayo. Manampalataya po tayo. And we have to actualize our faith. Huwag natin kakalimutan, ang bahagi ng actualization of our faith Makikita natin sa Romans chapter 10, verse 10. Tingnan muna natin as a sort of review. Romans chapter 10, verse 9, and then verse 10. Everybody read. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth compassion is made unto salvation. For the second time, everybody read. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Sa, sa, sa application para praise, with the mouth, confession is made unto possession. With the mouth, confession is made unto possession. When you said, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Savior. Jesus is my Savior. You are confessing your faith. And confession is made unto salvation or unto possession. Ganon din naman, any kind of miracle that you need from the Lord, you have to confess unto possession. That is part of doing or acting on God's Word. Praise God. So Isaiah 53 verse 5, By His wounds or by His stress we are healed. Sinabi ni, ni, ni Isaiah. Doon sa Matthew 8.17, Matthew 8.17, binibigyan din ko po yung tatlong grupo na pangangailangan ng tao to be victorious. Salvation, healings. Pangatlo po, mamaya ko na isusunod. Tapusin ko lang po ito. Yan sa healings tayo, no? Ano sabi ng Matthew 8, 17? That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Inako ni Yeso Christo ang lahat ng ating sakit, lahat ng karamdaman, lahat ng dusa, inako niya at pinasan niya sa kanyang sarili. Sabi sa Matthew 8, 17. Para yung sinabi ni Isaiah sa 53 verse 5 mangyari. At tingnan ninyo sa New Testament, sa 2 Peter. 2 Peter ba yan? Yes, I think 2 Peter 2.4, 2.24. 2 Peter 2.24. Please, 2 Peter 2.24. Hallelujah. Anong sabi sa 2 Peter 2.24? Past tense na. Doon sa Old Testament. 
incoming Second Peter 2.24, wala ba? <laughs> First Peter, no? First ba o two? I think First Peter 2.24. First Peter 2.24, di ba? Tama. He himself bore our sins. Inako niya sa kanyang katawan, ang ating mga kasalanan sa cross of Calvary. So that we might die, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By His wounds, you have been healed. Sa ibang translation, by His wounds, you were past tense na. You were healed. Hallelujah. Amen. Palapakan natin ang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Last but not least, gusto kong bigyan din dito. Well, this is just a general, uh, I would say, uh, revelation of God's amazing grace. Siyang provider ng salvation, provider ng healings and deliverance, maging financial freedom and victory, material prosperity. Tingnan ninyo ang 2 Corinthians 8.9. We need to know the words of God. Promising great promises, giving great, revealing great promises, so that we can be doer of God's word. Now, here in Second Corinthians eight nine, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might become. Rich. Nakita natin ang kayamanan ng biyaya ng Panginoon na bagamat siya ay mayaman sa lahat. Nung magkatawang tao, siya ay nagdus at naghirap upang sa kanyang kahirapang dinanas. Kayo at ako na napasa ilalim ng sumpa ng kahirapan, curse of poverty, through his poverty, you and I might become Rich. Gusto ng Diyos ang kanyang mga anak magkaroon ng ano, kayamanan. Hindi kahirapan because ang kahirapan, poverty, is a curse. Bakit maraming bansa naghihirap ang mga tao? Because of curse. Because sangkatutak ang wickedness at kasalanan sa loob ng bansa ang, 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 solusy- ang, ang resulta matinding kahirapan. Kaya ang mga tunay na anak ng Diyos, labanan natin ang kasamaan. Labanan natin ang wickedness. Labanan natin ang kasakiman sa salapi at sa kapangyarihan. Kung hindi natin ito gagawin, walang kapagapagasa ang ating bansa. Patuloy na magdurus at mahihirap, gagapang sa kahirapan ng milyong-milyong Pilipino. Hindi lang sa Pilipinas, sa buong mundo, lahat ng bansa. Patakot-takot ang sumpa because of wickedness. Kaya labanan natin ang wickedness. Praise God. Pag nilabanan natin ang wickedness at kasamaan, nilalabanan natin si Satanas. That is, in effect, an act of worship to the living God. Palapakan natin sa nalang Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So makikita natin kalooban ng Diyos ang financial victory kalooban ng Diyos na maging masagana ang buhay ng kanyang mga anak, maging wealthy. Tingnan ninyo ang Proverbs 10.22. Proverbs 10.22, then Proverbs 13.22. 10.22 muna tayo ng Proverbs. The blessing of the Lord, everybody read, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he, he adds no sorrow with it. He adds no sorrow with it. Sa New NIB nga, New International Version Bible, Simplified Version, NIB. Tingnan niyo ang ganda ng revelation dito. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil for it. Pag bilis ka ng Diyos, kasama nun ang wealth. You will be rich, you will be wealthy at without pain, without 
trouble. Kasi ang blessing ng Diyos ay legitimate wealth. Hindi ill-gotten wealth. Ang ill-gotten wealth from the corruption. Pag nanakaw sa salapi ng bayan. Kaya nagtatanga ako, bakit kinakailangan buksan natin ang Boracay at ang mga resorts sa mga kasi-kasino? Sisirain ng pamilya ng Pilipino. E yung pondo sa Department of Health, magkano yun? Bilyon-bilyon, sabi ng COA. Hindi makita kung nasaan, hindi makaw. Yun ang hanapin. Hindi yung bubuksan natin ng pintuan ng ating bansa sa mga proponents ng kasamaan sa mundong ito. I'm very sorry that ipakita natin ang tapang natin. Hindi para papasukin ang mga proponents ng mga dim- sorry, mga satana sa bansang ito. Sensya na kayo, hindi ko kayang tiisin na ang Diyos natin hindi natin pinaglalaban. Ang mga duwag, ang sabi ng Diyos ay hindi pwedeng papasukin sa langit. Yung duwag na ipaglaban ng katotohanan at katwiran at kabanalan. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tignan niyo ang Proverbs 13.22. Proverbs 13.32. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anong sabi sa Proverbs 10? 10. Hindi 13, please. 10.22. The blessing of the Lord. Ano sabi? Hindi, hindi. I'm sorry. 13.22. 13.22. A good person leaves an inheritance for their children's children. But a sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous. Kasi yung sinner's wealth, ill-gotten wealth yun. Nakuha yun sa corruption. Mga maniobra sa mga transactions sa gobyerno, karamihan. Yan ang mga pagnanakaw na naitatago. Kaya gustong-gusto namin ni Congressman Domingue na maaprubahan na agad yung aming in-sponsor na Freedom of Information Bill sa Kongreso. Pero ayaw aksyonan. Bakit ayaw aksyonan? <laughs> Freedom of Information Bill. Si Juan de la Cruz may karapatan tingnan ng mga business transaction ng mga nasa gobyerno. Kung seryoso tayo, na labanan ng corruption, dapat matagal nang approve yan. Freedom of information. Only transparency policy can substantially countervail or control this uh, culture of corruption in our country. Hallelujah. Ngayon, pinag-uusapan natin yung financial prosperity. Hindi ba nakalagay yan sa Kwan? Deuteronomy 8.18 ang sabi ng Diyos, remember your God who gives you the power or the, pow- or the power to get wealth or the power to produce wealth. Hindi yung power to get wealth, power to steal the people's money. <laughs> Hindi po. Yung legitimate wealth. Praise God. Praise God. And how can we be doer of God's word? Sabi nga ng 3 Gen 2, My beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper. Be in health as your soul prospered. As your soul prospered. Hallelujah. Ngayon, mga minamahal, paano maging doers tayo pagdating sa financial, material prosperity? Not only confessing it, but acting on it. Alimbawa, unang-una, Basahin natin, dito ako magwawakas pagdating sa area ng financial freedom. Malakay chapter 3 verse 8. Please. Malakay chapter 3 verse 8. Basahin natin ito hanggang verse 11 or verse 12. Everybody read. Will a man rob God? Nananakawan ba ng tao ang Diyos? Nung itanong yan ni Pastor Ben Kalika doon sa Baptist Church. Nung many years ago, umaatin po ako roon. 1975 yata, ano? Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. Sabi ko, hindi, hindi pwedeng nakawan ng tao ang Diyos. Hindi naman bangko ang Diyos. Kailangan ng security guard. Hindi. God is everywhere. 
Pero tingnan niyo, sabi rito, nananakawang pala ng tao ang Diyos. Will a man rob God, yet you have robbed me. But you say, in what, in what way have we robbed you? In tithes and offerings. Anong sabi ng nine? You are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me, even this whole nation is under curse. Sipin yung bigat, nadadamay yung buong bansa. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Wow. Basahin niyo buong Bible. Hindi nagpapates ang Panginoon kailanman except in the area of tithing and offering. I will rebuke the devourer devour, devour for your sakes, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you in the field, says the Lord of hosts. Verse 11 po yan. I will rebuke the devourer devour, devour, and all nations will call you blessed, for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of hosts. Dito sa 11, verse 11, pinakikita ng Diyos dito, pag faithful tayo sa tithes and offering, may divine protection ng Diyos sa ating pamilya, divine protection sa ating finances. Nung nasa Aurelio High School pang JIL ministry, na hindi ko makakalimutan, nasunog yung naga, naga ba yung nasunog? Dalawang bloke, kinain ng apoy, nila mo ng apoy. Yung gitna, natira isang bahay. Tatakay maraming tao. Bakit? <laughs> nawala, yung, nawala na yung apoy. Nasunog na yung buong bloke. Isang bahay lang natira. Yung palang bahay, faithful tighter at JIL pa. Kaya hindi ko makalimutan yung istorya na yun. Eh. Palapakan natin ng Panginoon. Yung iba, nangihinayang sa pagbibigay ng 10% para umandar ang operation ng church ministry all over the world. Nangihinayang. Pero kung isipin natin, parang magsasaka tayo. Ang Diyos ang may gawa ng lupa. Ang Diyos ang may gawa ng kalabaw. Ngayon, masins. Ang Diyos ang nagbibigay ng ulan. Ang Diyos ang nagbibigay ng araw. Siya ang kapitalista. Dapat 90% sa kanya, 10% lang sa socio-industrial. Binaligtad ng Diyos. 90% sa inyo, 10% na lang sa akin. Sabi, eh, nilana ako pa kung minsan ng ibang Kristiyano, yung 10%. Tapos nagtataka sila, bakit sang katutak na krisis ang dumarating sa kanya? Dus at hirap. Naalala ko si Mr. Colgate, yung founder ng Colgate Toothpaste. Nung maborn na ganyan siya, nagbibigay siya ng tight, lalong lumaki ang kanyang kayamanan. Ang ginawa niya, binaligtad na niya. Yung Colgate toothpaste, nagkaroon na ng palmolive, kung ano, ano mga na, 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 nanganak na ng katakot-takot na nanigosyo yung multitrillionaire siya. Bakit? Binaligtad niya. Yung, yung 90, binibigay niya sa gawain ng Diyos at sa humanitarian services. Yung 10 na lang sa kanya. Alam niyo yung greed? Kailan labanan ng tao ang greed eh. Kasakiman. The more na nagbibigay tayo, nawawala yung tukso ng kasakiman ni Satanas. Napakasarap kong sumunod sa kalooban ng Panginoon. May pangako ang Diyos, Those who curse my people, I will curse. But those who bless my people, I will bless. Pangako po ito ng Panginoon, Genesis 12 verse 3. Kaya huwag tayong mangamba, huwag tayong matakot kapag tayo nakipaglaban para sa katwiran ng Diyos, sa kabanalan ng Diyos, sa kabutihan ng sangkatauhan. Ano ba naman itong silbi ng buhay din sa mundo? Kung tayo ay walang silbi sa ating Diyos. Eh umuwi na tayo sa langit, walang problema ron. Kaya ho, praise be the name of the Lord. At uh, purihin ng Panginoon. Bago po ako magwakas sa isang panalangin, naalala ko po yung... Hallelujah. Naalala ko po yung... Ah, kasi kinukwestiyon ng iba pwede bang sa gitna ng pandemic makaranas ang mga anak ng Diyos ng 
abundant living, kapayapaan, kasaganaan. Eh, basahin po natin. Huling, huli na siguro to. Psalm 37, verse 19. Psalm 37, verse 19. Ano pa sabi rito? Everybody read. Sa, N, sa New King James Version po ito, no? They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Tignan ninyo ang NIV version. Para lalong makita natin ang lalim nitong revelation na ito. In times of disaster, they will not wither. In days of famine, they will enjoy plenty. Wow! Posible ba yun, Brother Eddie? Sa kasaysayan po ng mundo, pinatunayan na ng ilang beses niya nung panahon ni Joseph, review niyo panahon ni Joseph sa aklat ng Genesis. Panahon ni Joseph. Worldwide famine, worldwide drought. Nagkagutom ang buong mundo. Pero si Joseph na dating slave, na naging prime minister, binigyan ng Diyos ng karunungan. At sa panahon niya, sa pagsunod niya sa Diyos, hindi sa pagsunod kay Satanas. Sa gitna ng matinding kahirapan, worldwide drought and famine, nakaranas ng kasaganaan ang mga anak ng Diyos. Nangyari yung Psalm 37 verse 19 noon pa. Diyos ay Diyos. He hung it there for nothing. Hallelujah. Kaya, kung tayo tunay na anak ng Diyos, be ready to confess our faith. Be ready to stand up for God and be doers of God's Word. Amen? Isigaw natin, I'm victorious. I, I have miracles. In Jesus' name, we are victorious. Amen? Kaya mayroong awit na, Victory, victory is mine. Miracles, miracles. Miracle, miracle is mine. Prosperity, prosperity is mine. When you are singing those uh, promises of God, nadidevelop sa atmosphere, nakikreate yung atmosphere ng victory and prosperity. Amen? Palapakan natin ng Panginoon. Amen, Lord. Tumayo tayong lahat, kayong mga nasa bahay, nasaan mang kayo, at sumunod kayo sa may ikling panalang ito muna. Al naalala niyo ba yung Revelation, Revelation uh, 3.20? Revelation 3.20? Anong sabi sa Revelation 3.20? Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. And they with me. Kung marinig natin ang tinig ng Diyos, kumakatok siya sa pintuan ng ating puso. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Ibig sabihin, tanggapin natin si Jesus sa puso natin. Tas natin natin kamay sandali. Hallelujah. Shall we sing one song? He is Lord, He is Lord. Dahil sabi ng Romans chapter 10, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, NIV version, please. Last time na ito, uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, everybody read. If you declare with your mouth or confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead. You will be, you will be saved. Let us sing this international anthem in heaven. He is Lord, He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead and He is Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He has, he has risen from the dead and He is Lord. The dead is Lord. Every knee shall bow.
that Jesus Christ is Lord. In Filipino language, Shay Dios, Shay Dios, Hallelujah. Pura para si ka dala makanda na para sonda na para si ka dala mahal. Shay Dios, Shay na buhay na muli at Shay Dios. Sabi Nasi Jesus ay Dios Nasi Jesus ay Dios Sa lahat ang sumusubaybay sa programang ito Wherever you are in any part of the world Sumunod kayo sa mekling panalang ito of receiving Jesus Tanggapin natin si Kristo Jesus bilang tunay na Panginoon na tagapagligtas ng ating buhay at mabuksan ng langit sa ating lahat. Taas natin ang isang kamay, symbolizing we are surrendering our life to Jesus. Follow me with a simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I believe you died on the cross of Calvary because of my sins. You shed your holy blood for the remission of our sins. I believe you rose up from the dead for our justification. Lord Jesus, forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me with your holy blood. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my healer. Be my deliverer. Be my soon coming King. Patawarin mo ako, Panginoon. Sa lahat-lahat ng kasalanan, nagtitika ako, tumatalikod sa lahat ng kasalanan. I renounce all kinds of sins. Blot them out by your holy blood shed on the cross of Calvary. Linisin mo ako, Diyos, ng banal mong dugo. Pumasok ka sa puso ko. Tinatanggap kitang tunay bilang Panginoon, tagapagligtas, manggagamot ng aking buhay. Salamat po, Panginoon. I'll just be the one to pray. Lord, buksan mo lahat ng bintana ng kalangitan. Iunat mo yung mapaghimala, mapagpalang kamay. Abutin mo, Panginoon. Ipatong mo yung mapagpalang kamay sa lahat ng mga lalaki at babaeng nagbukas ng puso sa iyong salita. Hallelujah. Padaluyin mo, Panginoon, ang mighty anointing power of the Holy Ghost that destroys the yokes of the devil, the works and the wiles of the devil. Hallelujah. Take away sicknesses, diseases from their bodies, Lord. I rebuke and cancel even COVID uh, viruses all kinds of sicknesses and diseases I rebuke them and cancel them by the blood of Jesus I'm releasing unto all these concerned people Hallelujah the mighty anointing of healings and deliverance receive your miracles receive your healings in Jesus name you were healed by the stripes of Jesus by the blood of Jesus in the redeeming name of Jesus you were healed and made whole I rebuke poverty I cancel poverty I rebuke wickedness in all nations of the earth I, I cancel them by the blood of Jesus I release the spirit of the Lord the spirit of truth the spirit of enlightenment the spirit of conviction the spirit of repentance and deliverance I am releasing oh the spirit of salvation healings and even financial victory receive 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 all heavenly blessings thank you father god thank you for the healing of nations of the world we praise you father we give back to you all the glory honor and praises in jesus mighty name everybody agree and say amen and amen praise god praise god Hallelujah. Everyone who calls the name of the Lord will be 
Tunay po ngayon pong umagang ito, matapos po nating mapakinggan ang salita po ng ating Panginoon na gumising sa bawat isang mananampalataya ng ating Panginoon, ngayon pong umagang ito, hayaan natin, nasubukan natin ang ating Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng ating pagbibigay sa gawain ng Panginoon. Kundi po buksan ng Diyos ang pintuan, ang bintana ng kalangitan at maranasan po natin ang masaganang biyaya, ang masaganang pagpapalang inilaan ng Panginoon sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Ngayon pong umagang ito, sama-sama po nating ihandog sa Panginoon ang ating mga kaloob sa bawat isang nakasubaybay ngayon sa ating programa. Nais niyo pong maging kabahagi sa gawain ito ng ating Panginoon. Nakikita po natin ang bawat numero na sa ating pong screen na po pwedeng pagdalhan pagpadalhan ng ating mga handog. Praise the Lord. Ngayong umagang ito, tayo pong lahat ay yumuko at pumikit at tayo po ay manalangin. Dakilang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Maraming marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa iyo pong mensahe na aming napakinggan ngayong umagang ito, Panginoon. Tunay po, O Diyos, ngayong umagang ito, nais po namin na maging kabahagi sa gawain ito ng pagbibigay, Panginoon. Sa bawat iyahandog ng iyong mga anak ngayong umagang ito, Panginoon. Lord, nakikita mo ang mga kamay na ito, Panginoon. Walang isa man na maghahandog ngayong umagang ito ang hindi mo aabutin at iyong pagpapalain. Patutunayan mo sa bawat isang anak mo, Panginoon, na magiging kabahagi ng gawain ito, Panginoon, mararanasan namin ang bukas na kalangitan kahit sa panahong ito ng pandemya. Hindi, hindi mo pagkukulangin ang bawat isang anak mo, Panginoon. Lord, maraming marami pong salamat. Pakaingatan mo ang mga handog na ito at patuloy na magamit sa ikalalawak pa ng iyong gawain, Panginoon. Maraming marami pong salamat, Panginoon. At sa umagang ito, maingat po namin ibinabalik sa iyo ang lahat ng papuri, kalwalatin at karangalan sa pangalan ng ating Panginoong Yesus ang lahat ay magsabi ng Amen and Amen.
Patuloy po tayong umawit sa Panginoon ng pasasalamat. Kay buti mo, Panginoon, sa aming buhay. Kay buti mo, Panginoon, dakila ka sa buhay ko. ay sapat na Panginoon upang ito'y bumuhay ng pag-asa sa aming mga puso. Bagamat batbat ng pag-aalala, takot, pangamba, ang napakaraming mga tao, subalit salamat o Diyos sapagkat in this troubled world, we have the assurance of victory. Sapagkat Ikaw, Panginoong Heso Kristo, mismo ang nagtagumpay. You have, you have even said, Lord, In this world, you will have tribulation or trouble. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Napagtagumpayan mo, Panginoon, ang daigdig na ito at lahat ng bagay na may kaugnayan sa amin, kaligtasan, kagalingan, kasaganaan, lahat ng ito, Panginoon, ay iyong tinubo sa krus ng Kalbaryo at kami, Panginoon, ay makatitiyak at makakaasa sa lahat ng biyayang ito na kaloob mo sa amin. Panginoon, salamat po sapagkat alam po namin, O Diyos, ang mensaheng iyong inihayag sa amin. Lord, sa lahat ng sumay, sumubaybay sa Light TV, God's Channel of Blessing, A to Z, Channel 11, at sa YouTube Channel at Facebook page ng JL Church Worldwide. Panginoon, nananalig at nananampalataya kami, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Nang biyayang kaakibat ng iyong salita na aming natanggap, Panginoon, ay iyong ipinagkakaloob o Diyos sa bawat isa. Sapagkat ang sabi mo, You sent your word and healed them and saved them from their destruction. Panginoon, salamat po sa buhay ng aming uh, uh, spiritual director, Bishop Brother Eddie. Panginoon, we continually uphold Him in Your righteous right hand. Lord, let Your divine protection and covering be upon Him. Panginoon, katulad po o Diyos ng sinabi ng Isaiah 54 verse 17 kaysa ng kanyang mga anak, si Mayor John, Lord Senator Joel, Lord Pastora Joby, lahat ng kanyang mga manugang at apo. Panginoon, idinideklara namin that no weapon forms against them shall prosper. 
and every tongue that rises against them, we shall condemn. For this is the heritage of the servant of God, and the righteousness is from me, declares the Almighty. And that God in Jesus' name, hanggang sa iyong ikalawang pagbabalik, masusumpungan mo po ang aming minamahal na pastor kaysa ng kanyang buong pamilya na matapat na maglilingkod, susunod at gagawin iyahayag ang iyong mensahe na nais mong ipabatid sa sambayan ng Pilipino at sa lahat ng mga tao na maaabot ng mensaheng ito. Panginoon, salamat po and that God, we know and we believe, O Lord, hallelujah, that in, in, in the days of famine, Lord, we will enjoy plenty and in the days of disaster, in times of disaster, we will not wither, Lord. Kaya naman, Panginoon, ito ang aming pananampalataya, lalo na sa iyong mga matatapat na anak, sa mga taong nabubuhay sa gitna ng iyong banal na kalooban. Lord, no amount, Lord, ng anumang atake ng kaaway ang makakadaig at mananagum, magtatagumpay sa amin because we are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us and we can do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Lord, hallelujah, maraming marami pong salamat at Panginoon, even we declare, Lord God, Hallelujah, kung papanong idinalangin ito ng aming minamahal na pastor, Bishop Brother Eddie, na ang COVID-19 ay hindi at wawakasan ng iyong kapangyarihan, hindi makapagpapatuloy dahil ito'y wawakasan ng iyong kapangyarihan. We even declare, Lord God, even according to your word, that if we will say to this mountain to be removed and be cast into the sea, if we will not doubt in our heart, but believe, that whatever we say shall come to pass, we will have whatever we say. Lord, ang aming deklarasyon today, ang aming minamahal na bansa ay malaya sa korupsyon, ang aming minamahal na bansa ay malaya sa COVID-19, ang aming minamahal na bansa ay makakaranas ng isang pinagpala mapayapa at matagumpay na bansang Pilipinas sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Yesus. Lord, bless our country and its citizenry for blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Panginoon, salamat po at sa lahat ng sumusubaybay ng gawain ito ng Jesus is Lord worship and healing service. Panginoon, katulad ng sinabi ng iyong salita, this then is how you should, you should bless my people by saying the Lord bless you and keep you brethren. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. And may the love of the Father, the blessing of the Son, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon us and everyone viewing and watching this program today. In Jesus' name, this is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless. agree and say our God is not dead our God is not dead Jesus is alive Jesus is alive Jesus Christ Jesus Christ the son of the living God the son of the living God is Lord is Lord over the Philippines over the Philippines over Asia Subscribe to youtube.com slash JIL Worldwide and be updated with the latest teachings and other church happenings. Click the subscribe button now.